22nd of August and yeah it's Zord time again for any new players he's on the EDZ Winding Cove so if we quickly pull up our map you are going to be spawning in here Winding Cove and running across to here or shall we go on on this the bone speeder I've had this for ages now guys I'm about ready for a new one to be honest with you quite like the bone one though it's a bit like the rusty spaceship that I'm always flying around in I can never remember the name of it but uh, it's like a favourite I'm guessing you guys have probably got your favourite ship or speeder you've sort of used it for a long time I know I have okay. did like some of the original raid ships that you had in Destiny 1 they were uh, quite a nice thing to have at the time I'm going to get up there am I So you can go a different route, it's just I always go this route. It's pretty easy to get to him from here. He's been invaded by pesky things. Okay, here he is, here's Zor. Now we can have a look at what he's got, what he's got for sale, and should we actually buy any of it? Ooh, yes. Okay, Lord of Wolves. This, this is quite an old one, uh, in fact it's a very old one, but this is actually great, I was running around with this for quite some time, um, it is a very very powerful shotgun and it looks fantastic, so if you look at the impact on that, you'll see what I mean, the impact is very very high, Let's have a look at it, that is a beastly looking weapon. Now like I say, it's not just a good looking weapon, it is very very useful as well. Um, it says here, fires a powerful short range burst of solar damage. So yes, it is only useful for solar, sadly, but it is a very nice looking weapon. Have we got anything to show you on it? No, we've got no ornaments or anything, sadly, for that one. But yeah, give that one a go. That is that's definitely worthwhile. If you're an older player, you've probably already got it. That's the only downside, really, to that one. Moving on. Younger Karma's Spine. This is another great looking bit of kit. I mean, check that out. That is Destiny fashion at its best, yeah? Okay, so increases trip mine grenade duration and blast radius. Ability damage grants trip mine grenade energy. So yeah, the, the effects for it are very good, really, are they? I mean, they're all based around the trip mines, so unless you're running that, it's sort of a bit of a negative. I think it's worth it for a collection point of view because it looks so good. The actual perk, not so good, guys. I mean, it's mediocre. If you've got shards burning all in your pocket, go for it because it's great looking. But the actual effects, no, they're not very good at all. What happens if we colour this thing? It's sort of a, a bit of a colour. Really low on shaders. It's just a blue look underneath. The bone stays the same colour. Yeah. Great looking, but mediocre effects. Moving on. Eternal Warrior for Titan. Another good looking one, really. Look at that. Okay, gain an overshield when activating Fists of Havoc. So if you are on that perk tree, this is pretty good. But the overshield is quite useful in busy areas, especially if you're running Fist of Havoc into a very busy area. But that's it, that's its only perk. So again, limited to one sort of tree really. No, I can't show you anything on that, but we can show you a better shader because this thing looks nice with a decent shader. He says trying to find a decent shader. I really need to get some more shaders. Oh, that's disgusting. Don't like that one. Hmm. The trouble with shaders is I sort of change them every week, and that means I use a, a lot of legendary shirts, shards because I have to keep rebuying them all the time, rebuying the shaders, and um, the cashing or ones that I don't use. So yeah, never got many. Moving on, we have Astro. I knew there was going to be one I was going to struggle on. Astro's uh, the verse helmet. Astro Astrocyte, Astrocyte. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Uh, improved blink. Okay, so let's have a look then. There you go. That is well trippy. I'm sure you would agree. That is nuts. They're all good looking, aren't they? This week, they're all good looking items to buy. Blink further and more frequently. Weapon readies quickly out of blink and radar remains up. So, if you've got your tree set to blink, you know the short teleport that warlocks can warlords can 
Warlords, Warlocks. Warlock. It's very early in the morning on a Saturday here in the UK. So yeah, start with it. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you're using Blink, this is a good companion to it because obviously your weapon's ready the minute you come out of Blink, which is very ideal, and your radar remains up while you're in it. So it's a good buff, certainly is worthwhile. Do we have anything to show you on this one? No. It's not, not a day for ornaments, is it? Just the edge look that gets painted on it. Nothing, nothing really special there. But great looking. What's the, what you've got this week then is great looking stuff, all mediocre. The weapons are worth, worth a go if you've not already got it. The rest of them, they're okay. They're okay. If you're collecting sets, then yeah, you could buy them. But uh, go for the weapon, guys. If you play around with the weapon, you will really enjoy the weapon. It's um, really good. And if memory serves you correctly, I'm pretty sure there's a bit of smoke comes out at the end of it all the time while you're running around because it, it is more of wolves. Give it a go, give it a go. But that's it, that's where he is. I'm not buying anything. Don't forget, you could always buy the um, well, the very expensive one if you want to call it the exotic engram up here. There you go, because you could pick up any of those if you haven't got them. And that's it. There you go. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again at the same time in the next week. Bye for now.